Normally when you consult the office, the priority has to be given to the light which is coming into the office, the colors and the interior layout and indoor air quality and acoustics is which is equally important has been neglected but off late and we are very happy that acoustics as a uh, you know the science which is picking up and uh, many of these architects and clients are talking about acoustics because it directly the sound inside the office is equally important vertical so acoustics need to be considered from the beginning so that your place sounds good and it also helps in well-being of the people as a result the productivity of that office space will be very good and everybody can come out of good positive attitude see co-working spaces is a big challenge because in the same place many different uh, companies will be working in co-working spaces they will have different the work culture everyone has got different work culture sound or the noise is plays a major role in the co-working places acoustics acoustical ceiling and uh, plays a major role in the co-working places which is picking up the meeting rooms are coming to the open plan offices so there also you know we need to have good acoustics uh, ceiling and some absorbers in the wall or on the floor or on the workstations all this needs to be considered the peaceful and productive functioning of an office multi purpose hall they will use it for various application sometimes they'll use it for cinema sometimes they'll use it for you know the rock bands sometimes they use it for you know the live music the carnatic music or sometimes they use it for speech so each of these parameters each of these applications require different acoustics so that is a challenge in some places we also did variable acoustics meaning that panels can be turned depending on the application there will be a, electronically we can rotate the panels make it absorptive make it reflective we can do that but that is that is going that is not very economical so in general to maintain uh, in a overall ambience we also design an auditorium for a particular reverberation time and the speech intelligibility we ensure uh, good sound reflection good sound absorption good sound diffusion happens with the existing material by providing uh, shapes to it by providing lot of profiles in the ceiling lot of profiles in wall paneling so that we achieve all these three parameters make the auditorium sound good for multi purpose applications so we were designing an auditorium for a, a reputed school the school being a non commercial place they wanted to have a very good and optimal solution that time we were looking for a tiles which gives good absorption in the mid and high and also some absorption in low frequency so we could able to see the you know we could able to get quadro from jiprock and we found after the simulation and the simulation and detailed design we found this works out well for us so we have considered that in the fall ceiling and some parts of the wall paneling and which has really worked out well whatever the targeted figures of the reverberation time we could able to meet with this of course we have given some shapes to achieve good sound absorption diffusions right now we are designing couple of uh, hospitals so there where we are giving our design between the patients rooms to cut down the noise transfer happening between patients rooms and also we are focusing on some of the test rooms like you know it may be x ray rooms it may be mri or so many machines will be working in the icu and some are making low frequency noise so which will be irritating to the patients so off late in india 
those uh, you know the hospitals are coming forward to address those issues and uh, we are working with couple of uh, you know the major brands in india and we are giving solutions for all these areas including the machine rooms acoustics and aesthetics normally won't go together but of course now a lot of materials have come which are good aesthetically we suggest architects that this has to be used in this particular way so mostly architects will give the look and feel for it as a acoustical consultants our look and feel uh, knowledge is very limited so we do basically depends on the architects to give their look and feel their concept and we will work accordingly with the products whatever digital is is a good product in terms of nrc values and we can also able to achieve uh, other parameters by using it in a different way we need to give the profiles to that project which it can easily take the profiles and the shapes what we give while uh, doing the design that helps us in uh, giving you know the good sound absorption and also diffusion Normally, you know, the tendency now here in uh, India is acoustics means they feel that is very expensive. But that is not the case. If you plan acoustics from the beginning, the increment will be very marginal. But of course, if you want to consider after facing the problem, acoustics works out a little expensive. So that's why all the more acoustics need to be considered from the beginning. this not only any volumes can can do alone or consultants can do alone the people who are all working in this field put together as a joint effort in bringing in the systems so that any common man want to build the building should follow this so probably we need to go back to the grassroots levels and uh, fix up certain standards for acoustics so that whoever builds the building they need to follow this and we need to together work in building up the system at grassroots level